Hello there, welcome along to Ringside State of the Week. It is heavyweight time, the march of the heavyweights. Johnny and I are joined by the undefeated, big punching Lucas Brown. Now just, what, a week and a half away right. from a huge clash with Dylan White. On paper, it's a fascinating one. We see it as a 50-50 battle. First of all, how's training been? Very well. Very good. Um, I've been over here for just on two weeks now, so yeah, a adjusting and everything. Um, lovely weather, by the way. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, it's, it's 36 degrees at home, I think. So yeah, this, this is lovely weather. But um, yeah, everything's going uh, super. It's You've given yourself well. enough time to acclimatise and yeah, yeah, pretty much. time for the fire. Just just to make sure all those little things are, are, are you know, aren't there for the, the shorter trip here. So we made it a little bit longer just so we can get all those things out of the way. Mm. The hard work's probably all done now as well, isn't it, in regards to Pretty much, yeah, sparring, yeah. prepping, fitness. That's correct, that's yeah. I, I think I had my last sparring today with um, Chisora and um, Gorman, mm. Nathan Gorman. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, unless the coach comes up with something else, but uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the sparring's done, so now it's just more yeah, going through the processes. Mm. How's the sparring gone with Derek Chisora? Good, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no great. Um, we both like getting in there uh, amongst it, we're getting close and everything else, so it's good, he's got a good pace. Um, I think it was eight, eight rounds twice, uh, like I said, twice um, sparring, so eight rounds each time, and I uh, finish off with a couple of other people after it, so yeah, it's been going well. Of course, the obvious one's going to be, everybody's going to say to you, how did it go with Tyson Fury, he's in the mix, it's nice to, <laughs> to, to know where he actually is, we hear so many stories. How is he? Yeah. No, he's good, um, I was supposed to fight, uh, spar Nathan Gorman, but he hurt his thumb in the fight the weekend before. Mm. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, we, we arranged for Tyson to come in, which was great. He's just a character, yeah, he's, he's a big boy, he's hanging off the ropes, he's spinning back elbows, all sorts of things, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, luckily I've, I've had a little bit of MMA background and I had headgear on, otherwise a nice cut yeah. across the forehead, but yeah, he, he is what he, what he was. Awkwardly effective. Very much so, yeah. yeah. Um, tell me, is this, is this, you know, spying with, with Derek, spying with Tyson, is this trying to get at, at, at Dylan as well because remember these guys one's an, an old opponent one mm. kind of di totally disrespects him mm -hmm. so do you think this is, that he's, he's gonna be thinking they're gonna be telling you some trade secrets or cavorting with the enemy is not, that, is not it specifically um, but yeah it works in that in my favor however you want to look <laughs> at it um, when I was over here in January I did have a meeting with his manager uh, Chisora's manager and we, we've arranged a sparring uh, since then so it was just the fact that it's sort of what what, what has come around like Derek's a, a, a brilliant guy, a great boxer, so why not get in amongst it? Mm. And part of it, of course, has been the needle, the spice with uh, with Dylan White along mm. the way. And, yeah, that's right. Uh, that adds right. to it, doesn't it? If, well and truly, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he's got a big mouth, so yeah, I'm playing the game along with him as well. Um, it's not it's not getting to what you're saying or doing. No, or, no. You're not even bothered with I don't, I don't even look at his page, to be honest. So unless oh. someone actually brings it over to me to bring it to my attention, I don't really care. No. Is, it, is it all about focusing on Lucas Brown and, and doing what you do best? And that's are right. you in the best shape of your life? Yeah, yeah. Um, it depends on how you want to look at it. Like, yeah, obviously, I'm, I'm not as light as I was for the Shigeo fight, but that was the plan. We wanted to come in just a little bit heavier. Um, so I'm, I'm fit. I'm ready to go. Um, I've got all that experience behind me now, which is good. So I can take that into future fights as well. So I think I'm in a great spot. So what's the plan, Stan? What's the plan for the fight? <laughs> Box. Honestly, like, I, I think it's going to be a closer fight mm. um, where we're both going to come in to each other and just that's basically... What that's what you need to do. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so he is, I think he's got a little bit of reach on me. Um, but I like I like coming forward with the jab and, and, and he wants to work the body, I want to work the body. So I think it's going to be a great sort of in the middle battle. Yeah. Mm. What's he do well? Uh, he's got a good work rate. I'll give him yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll, but he'll be looking to, to, to get in and out, will he, and box and try. I, th I think so. But uh, again, if because he is like he's the one. Obviously, I'm here for him. Um, he's top of the bill. I think he's going to want to have to perform also. So if the crowd does, yeah, you know, some sort of booing or anything like that, I think that'll affect him more than it'll affect me. Do you see yourself as the underdog? Technically, in this one, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it, unfortunately this is the situation I found myself in, so yeah. In the UK, but what if this fight was, was back home, would you say you were the underdog or would you say this is a, a pretty even fight? Uh, pretty even, 50-50, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. What's yeah. the plan? What's the plan? So after the fight, uh, in an ideal world, where would you want to go after that, if, if you want? Go uh, visit the Joshua fight. Nice. Um, <laughs> obviously have the belt. Yeah. Go see Wilder, because I believe Wilder's going to be there as well. Yeah. So, um, and just go enjoy the festivities, yeah. 
As we said, it's the heavyweight month. AJ That's and, right, and yes. Parker on the 31st. Deontay Wilder joining us as well on the Sky team. You would have seen Wilder against Ortiz. Yep. Um, what did you make of that? And do you think Deontay came out better now, or do you think there's weaknesses? I mean, how do you no, see I, it? I, there's definitely weaknesses. There's always has been weaknesses. Mm -hmm. It's just unfortunate. Oh, not unfortunate. Sorry, for his in his favour, he has that big one knockout mm -hmm. power. So no matter he could be losing, so, same as myself, I believe, I could be losing 11 rounds and come in the 12th and still knock you out. I've still got that chance to knock you out. Has he gone up in your estimations, though, after, after that performance at all? or No, not really. No, just exposed no, himself. It was still that, that, that one punch that sort of shook it up and he, he just jumped on it. And he gets very wild, you know, wilder. Yeah. Funny. But uh, he does get very wild. So, yeah, if, if you can stick with that, unfortunately no one has been able to because he's got that great knockout power. But if you can actually stick with that, I think he'll, he'll sort of go on the down end towards the end of the fight. Yeah. But you, you thought he proved a point, didn't you? That I, he, yeah, I thought he, he showed a few yeah, boxes. He showed heart. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he showed. Because it was on paper, uh, it was a big fight. It was yes. a big fight. It was a big scalp to, to mm -hmm. time on paper. Yep. And, and you'd look at the experience of both fights and you'd say, mm -hmm. well, he's had more experience. Yes. So on paper, it was a big step up for him. So I'm through to how, how he came out of it. I thought, you know what? You've, you've shown me something inside. At least you'll learn I didn't as well. know you had. Yeah, yeah. But yes, he also showed some vulnerabilities mm -hmm. as well. But mm -hmm. the weight wise, I don't think it made that much of a difference either. Wilder did his job returning his WBC crown. We look forward to Joshua and Parker. Johnny and I were with uh, AJ in Sheffield yesterday. He looks lean, doesn't he? And he sharp looks... and quick. He's lost a bit of weight and all systems go. Yeah, it looks like he's, he's, he's kind of had the gypsies worn and what he's done is made sure every fight's been important and he learned something from every fight. Mm. Weight's dropped down a little bit. We had a discussion in his last fight. I mm. thought the weight wouldn't be a problem for him being a heavy over it. I did. I thought 18-2 was too big for him and yeah. he seems he's going to come in about 17 and a half probably. Yeah, he comes at 17 and a half then. Then, then that's the time to really assess to say, you know what, this is your fighting weight. But he's still a, a young man growing up. How dangerous is Joseph Parker? Unbeaten, younger, uh, mm. obviously a huge opportunity how do you see it I think if Joshua stays long he'll have it um, I think if he fights closer like he did with the Tackham fight he gives Parker more of a chance now it's a heavyweight division everyone punches hard you know so if he does land a, a good shot on Joshua you never know what happens you know I, I, I think Joshua's uh, chin is somewhat suspect mm. but you've got to get there in the first place have you ever sparred, sparred with Parker no never met him no you've no. never met him no. never even thought about no to... oh, it just hasn't come about no yeah so we haven't avoided each other, just yeah, just hasn't come about. But it's a great time for the heavyweights, isn't it? It is, you know, it's great, it's great, yeah. You've also I, got I'm, I'm Bryson, very excited. Bryson Vivekin on the bill as well. And, and That's right, yes, Wales. yes, yes, very yeah, excited. Anything could happen there. I know, <laughs> I know, yeah. Well, see, I think Price has all the skills and obviously the length and everything else to be a great fighter, but uh, I don't know whether it's, it's, it's ticker or a bit of chin as well that sort of lets him down. So Would you be interested in getting with a winner of, uh, of either of those two? coming through Saturday night? 100%. So, yeah, I just, I just want to fight. I'm 38 years old. Um, I've had yeah, three sort of years with three fights. Mm. Yeah, I really want to get in and get amongst it and uh, be a bit more active. Make yeah. sure every fight means something. Yeah. So, Johnny, a quick couple of lines. Scott yeah. Quigg, uh, last weekend, obviously failing the weight. Um, difficult situation, went through with the fight and sort of redeemed himself in what was a, a brutal clash. Yeah, he showed, he showed a massive heart. He showed what kind of fighter he is and that matters. If you stand there to have a toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, he will make sure you have to fight to get the win. He showed that he is of a certain level that, you know, I think he's overachieved. I think he's done outstandingly. The problem is, where does he go now? What's he do now? Because he stepped up in weight, so now he thinks, who shall I fight? Who's out there for me? I don't think he'll change trainers. I think Freddie, uh, Fred Roach is perfect for him. Uh, he likes that style of fighting. Uh, that, uh, that style of fighting suits, suits, suits Scott's mentality. So he's got to be smart about who he picks to fight uh, uh, now. But he did himself proud. He, he didn't walk out there with any shame at all. Meanwhile, the sparkling Mikey Garcia moves on. Isn't he fantastic? Mm -hmm. We've also got Vasil Lomachenko and Jorge Linares wow. announced in uh, wow. the recent hours. I mean, that's terrific, That's isn't intriguing. It? That is so intriguing. And, and you know what? This is a fight that it's going to be, it's gonna say, you're going to say goodbye to one of them. Uh, and I think if Linares <laughs> loses, they'll say, you know what? I, I've, I've been in with the best. Look, it's their top quality, aren't they? Garcia, Lomachenko, Linares. Yes, yes. Great yes. fighters out there. Which just shows the difference, obviously, um, there's certain levels of heavyweights, but like when you get to the smaller fellas, they've got the footwork and the angles, and, and they have to do more rather than just sort of thud away. So it's always very interesting to watch the, the, the smaller weights. You'll be thudding away on <laughs> March the 24th. Um, finally, how badly do you want this? 
and uh, give us a prediction on top as well. This is my life. Like this is what I've chosen to do. Um, it, it's been a little stagnant over the last sort of three years with everything, but um, this is my chance to come back in. Um, it's the silver title, so it's it's right up there. He has good rankings across the board as well. So a win for me is everything at the moment. So um, I don't want to make a prediction, so to speak. I, I I definitely don't want it to go to judges' decision though. I don't like judges' decisions. Um, so a stoppage of some sort, whether he doesn't come out or I knock him out or, or whatever it may be. But yeah, I definitely want to stop him. Lucas, we wish you well. Uh, just you. a few days, Johnny, to go until that huge clash at the O2. Dylan White against Lucas Brown. What a time for heavyweight boxing. We'll see you next week. Sky Sports. Feel it all.